much for being here. My name is Anna Hellman and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today I want to talk about card making for beginners. So if you are a beginner looking to start making cards or you have already started, you're just kind of getting your feet wet and you're looking for some resources, then I'm really glad you have found this video and I appreciate you watching. I'll talk about a few things in this video. We'll talk about getting started, some of the products you're going to want to look for, where to look for resources. And then at the end, I want to talk about ways to save money because as you may know, if you're getting started, the expense for your for your supplies can really add up depending on how much you're looking to buy. And when you decide that you love this, then you want to buy everything, right? So we'll talk about that at the end. So first, if you haven't started making cards, if you found this on a whim, why would you want to make cards? There are so many reasons to make handmade cards and other paper crafts. And some of them have to do with you and the enjoyment you can get for it. It's a, from it. It's a release. It's relaxing. It can really give you a lot of satisfaction by making something beautiful and something that you can be proud of. Well, then the other part of it is you get to share that with someone and make them feel better. You know how you feel when you've received a handmade card from someone? Well, you can make someone else feel that same way. So then you can get a lot of satisfaction out of making someone else feel better and making their day better. So when we talk about card making, there's so many different types of cards you can make, ways you can go. I want to mention right now that if you have seen like super complicated cards with folding and techniques and all these tools and things, just realize it doesn't have to be that way. Card making can be very simple. It can be whatever you want it to be, whatever makes you happy. So keep that in mind. So you're going to want to find some resources. And if you found my YouTube channel, you've already found an awesome resource. So what I want you to do while you're here is look down below this video, find the name of my channel. It's called Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff with Anna Hellman. You should see a subscribe button down there. So click on that subscribe button. And once we're done, what you can do is click on that name, Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff with Anna Hellman. You're going to go straight to my channel. I have hundreds of videos there that you can check out. I have a playlist there. You can either click on the playlist tab or you can find it on my home screen as well. My playlist called Learn to Make Handmade Cards. That is an excellent place to start for learning the basics because this can get really complicated. And those of us who love it, love to make it complicated, but you have to start somewhere. You need to start with the basics. Find that Learn to Make Handmade Cards playlist. And as you scroll back through, you're going to see a lot of different types of videos that I've made over the years. Uh, some of them are pretty, are, are a few years old at this point, but all of the information still is relevant. Uh, but you'll see how my videos have progressed over the years. So take a look at that. You'll also find tons of other playlists. You'll find card making tips and tricks. That is an excellent one to take a look at if you're getting started and wanting to learn some basics, some little handy tips and tricks. Uh, if you want to get into some of the more, uh, more advanced things, then I have fun fold cards and techniques and all kinds of other things you can take a look at too. But as you watch along with those videos, you're going to really learn a lot. So other resources you're going to want to take a look at, and I'm going to link to all of these in the video description below. So uh, you can get down there, you have to click to be able to open up that full description, but you can also go and take a look at my website. It is scrappingstampingandstuff.com. It's really long. I don't know who came up with that, uh, but you can find all sorts of things there. I have a gallery. You can scroll through, find pictures of projects that you like quickly and easily click on that project and you'll be taken to a blog post to tell you all about it. You can look under my resources. I have a product link where you can, it's a drop down of all the Stampin' Out products that I use, the ones that I love and I recommend and I teach you how to use in my videos and in my blog posts. A drop down for a lot of those tools you can click on and learn all about a particular tool uh, right there and it's easy to find. But there are lots and lots of resources on my website, so make sure you take a look at that. So when you think about products to get started with, what do you want to start with? Because I have hundreds of products in my collection and many card makers are just like me or maybe even have thousands. So where do you start? 
my number one recommendation to you is to start with kits and i'll link this in the description below we Stampin up offers two different types of kits one we offer a kits collection where you can go to our website and i'll have my website below my online store you can go to the website and look through an offering of kits and choose the ones you like add them to your cart check out those will be shipped straight to you the reason i love kits is because everything is included when you are starting to make cards it can take it can take a lot to have several stamp sets all the colors of paper that you want cardstock and designer paper several different colors of ink you need your acrylic blocks to attach your stamps to you need adhesives all these things if you want some embellishments some little ribbon and gems to add you need to add that in kits are amazing because they come with all of it they come with instructions they come with video references you can pull up if you want help on how to assemble that kit they come with everything so they allow you to create with that kit get get some confidence in your abilities learn a few things and then you have your stamps and your ink depending on what type of kit you get you may get a block an acrylic block with it to attach your stamps to you may have some adhesives left over you may have some embellishments left, left over but you get to collect those things add them to your collection and as you learn and grow you'll have those things that you can use so i definitely recommend kits now there's another type of kit that I really want to tell you about because it's a lot of fun. It's great for beginners. It's also great for advanced stampers, but it's called Paper Pumpkin and it is a subscription kit that comes in the mail once a month. It is just like the kits I just told you about, but it comes once a month. It's a surprise. We don't know exactly what's coming in it, but it is always a fun project with a different theme and everything you need is included. So those are great places to start. Now, if you've already done some of the kits or if you're looking to branch out and start purchasing some other products, what are some things you wanna look at? So you definitely need stamps, you need ink, you need paper, you need some adhesives. So just a couple of things about each of those, some, some things to keep in mind when you're shopping. Stamps, I really recommend when you're choosing your first few stamp sets that you choose sets that have nice images and nice greetings or nice sentiments. If you have several different flowers, for example, along with several different greetings of the types you're going to use, like birthday, thinking of you, thank you, whatever the types of cards are that you think you'll send the most. If it has several images and several sentiments in that stamp set, that's a good one that you can get a lot of use out of. So those are the stamps I really recommend you focus on at first when you're just getting started to get the most out of the money that you're investing in your collection. Ink. You will want several ink colors. Choose some ink colors that go well with the stamps you're choosing. So if they're florals, you may want some floral colors, pinks or purples or blues, and maybe some green for some leaves. If you are uh, choosing another type of stamp set, just choose some inks that go well with that stamp set. Paper, you need some paper. Starting out, I really recommend you choose a pre-made card and envelope set. You can stamp right on those cards. If you want to add a few little pieces of paper to them, you can, but you don't have to. So pre-made cards and envelopes. Now, as you branch out, choose some assortment packs of paper, such as assorted packs of cardstock that have lots of colors in them. We have collections in subtles, which are the pastel colors, regals or the deep, beautiful colors, brights, and neutrals. So you can choose those assortments and have lots of colors in your collection without a lot of money spent on that, on that purchase. So stamps, ink, paper, you need some adhesives. Really recommend you take a look in some of my learn to make handmade cards videos about adhesives because there are a lot of different types. I really recommend that you have some glue and I really recommend that you have some kind of tape runner like our seal or seal plus. And the glue that I love the best is the multi-purpose Tombow glue. So that's a little bit about products. Now, if you are really loving this or knowing that you're going to love it, like I just 
don't know how I'm going to purchase all the supplies I want at the moment. There are several ways to save money. One, I really encourage you to try those kits because they're a minimal investment. They are no more than, I think, maybe $22 each. And you're going to have those supplies build up that you can take with you and use on future projects. So kits are a great way to get started. Another thing you can do is to invest in items that you're going to use often. So if you see a stamp set for Halloween, for example, that you love, you may love it, but you may not, you're, you're not going to use that all year long. So invest in items that you're going to get a lot of use out of. Okay, other ways you can save money are, one, I offer Facebook parties and other types of gatherings that you can organize on your own, even if you're not nearby to me. So one, we can do a Facebook party with Stampin' Up! products. I share all kinds of things, basics, basics about learning to make handmade cards. So it can be a really great resource for you as well just to learn some of those basics to participate in one of these parties. So you can invite your friends to this Facebook party or we can do other types of online gatherings as well. I'm very open to coming up with different ideas that work for you, but you invite friends to that. I share some basic information. If your friends order products, you earn rewards off of that and you get to spend your free credit on any products that you want. So that is a great way to save money. I also want to mention my Stampin' Rewards pr program. I have a rewards program because I really appreciate those customers who shop with me and order their products through my online store. But I have a Stampin' Rewards program. So when you shop with me, I keep track of your points. I send you a lovely handmade thank you along with some other fun things in the mail each time you order with your po points total. And when you reach a certain number of points, you get free stamps from me as my thank you to you. Last but not least, a really probably the best way to save money on your supplies and an option that thousands and thousands of stampers have taken advantage of is to sign up with Stampin' Up. So what that means is basically you sign up, you order the starter kit to become a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Now don't let that scare you because you don't have to sell products. You don't have to offer classes. You don't have to do anything besides order your own supplies. And when you order your own supplies, you're going to get a discount on them. The discount starts at 20%. It's pretty easy to bump up to a 25% discount and it goes up from there. So you can order your supplies at a discount. Now what happens if you purchase that starter kit, which the starter kit itself is a really great deal. I'll talk about that in just a second. What happens if you don't order any more products in the future at your demonstrator discount? Nothing happens at all. You can go back to being a regular customer at some point if you don't take advantage of those benefits of being a demonstrator. So the starter kit, this is a great way to save money. How do you do this and what comes with it? So if you've looked at Stampin' Up! products, if you've used them or haven't used them, I'll just tell you, we have the best quality products. If you choose Stampin' Up! products, Stampin' Up! stands behind them and the quality. If you have problems with them, Stampin' Up! makes it right and I'm here to help you with that. So the starter kit, what you can choose with your starter kit, you get to choose $125 worth of products. It only costs $99. You get free shipping. You will get a past paper pumpkin kit from Stampin' Up! You also get some other things, catalogs. Make sure not to order a catalog because you'll get catalogs and some other things included with that. So the starter kit is your step into being able to purchase all of your future supplies at a discount. When you join, you get to join a really fun community of demonstrators, of other crafters like me and like you. I have a Facebook group where my team shares a lot of different things. We have card making challenges you can join in if you want to. We like to upload pictures and share what we've been working on lately just to help inspire each other. We have monthly get togethers where we make a craft project and we have a quarterly get together where all we do is craft. We send out a materials list, different members of our team put together fun projects that we're going to create together. We get together on Zoom, we craft together and make some really fun projects. So that is a way to save some money on your products as well. So I hope this video has helped 
give you a few ideas of things to think about, what to look for, resources to find. And if you're interested in more information on what it means to sign up with Stampin' Up or what would be involved with joining my team and joining Stampin' Up, I would love to hear from you. Send me a comment below. You can always email me at stampingwithanna at gmail.com. Uh, once we have connected, you're always free to contact me by telephone as well, by call or text. So thanks so much for being here. Click on the video description below. There's lots of links there. Also, remember, if you click on the name of my channel, Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff, you're going to go straight to my channel with hundreds of other videos you can take a look at as well. So I appreciate you being here, and I hope to see you again when I am making more videos and helping you to hand make with love.